previously on Cash Tour. I'm going to go on a 10-day trip with 37 Germans all over the Pacific Northwest. This is the place where Dave Ulmer, 19 years ago, hid the very first geocache. They are officially on the ET Highway. If you look, watch. Geocache. 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 Water. Maybe a little Maybe a diet. Dr. Pepper. So one of the things I've really loved about this geocaching tour with Cache Horizon is not only the amazing geocaches that I found, not only the amazing landscape that I have seen, but some of the cool places that I've got to stay. I'm in Ely, Nevada. This is like a Wild West town. The cool thing is that our hotel was in the historic Hotel Nevada. It's a historic gambling hall and hotel. Famous people have stayed here like Mickey Rooney, Jimmy Stewart, even Lyndon B. Johnson, the president, has stayed here. So we're getting ready to leave this morning in Ely, Nevada. We're heading to Utah and all week we've been looking for smileys. Is that yeah, right, Dennis? Yes, right. We've been looking for smileys, caches, getting those smileys, and we found one right here in the Denny's. <laughs> first oh. geocache of the day. Found. Found. First geocache. We are back on the road, on the road again, in the words of Willie Nelson. We are traveling from Eli, Nevada today to Nephi, Utah. Utah is a state that I have never officially been in. It's one of the most beautiful states in our country. This will be my very first cache actually found in the state of Utah, and it's an oldie. This one was hidden in November of 2000. This road has ever seen a coach bus this big. <laughs> they are actually maintaining the road right now, laying some dirt. We have some vehicles in front of us. I don't know, this maintenance vehicle is only going about two miles per hour. So according to that, we should be the cash in about, oh, I don't know, what, eight hours? All right, we got through. Smooth sailing from here, we hope. Yesterday I was in the desert. I couldn't find any water. Who knew I had to go to Utah for water? Mm, delicious. When I do hikes like this, I think about our hobby of geocaching and how diverse it is. I love urban caches. I love really creative containers and gadget caches. But when I think about when this cache was hidden, I think about a person thinking, boy, there's this new hobby. I know this amazing, beautiful place and this amazing hike to hide it. And that's what it's all about. There's nothing like the beautiful views and the fresh air. We have arrived at the really old geocache. The location is super epic. Look at that down there. That is an old mine down there in that hole. Oh my gosh. If I was a bear, I'd live down there. Oh, so cool. It's filled with water. Hello. Oh, yes. There it is. Right next to this mine. Oldie but a goodie. Well done. I'm up for the next hunt. You're up for the next one. <laughs> and gold and silver and di Go diamonds. Gold and you found gold and yeah. silver. That's why you made it here, the yeah. Wild West, yeah. to, to find your gold and silver. I don't have to go to work. No. Yes. You're rich. Anymore. I'm rich. You're yeah. rich. Rich with beauty. Climbed up here. Oh, very old cash in Utah. Beautiful, beautiful hike. It's like a Bob Ross painting back there. Painting happy little trees. Let's let's paint the trees. Painting, oh, happy little trees. Ladies and gentlemen, I call that geocaching view of the day. Woo! These, ow! <laughs> very, 
very, very sharp. Don't touch the cactus. Going down is always a little trickier than going up. Next time on Cast Tour. We're on top of the mountain and there is snow. I think one of my German friends. Oh! oh. Hey. Hey. Yes, yeah. Mission completed. <laughs> you said there is another cache very close by. Where where is it? Yes, it's over the water. You have to what? swim. The <laughs> Are you my German friends? Yeah, yeah. Oh.